Today on Talk Shop, we're going to talk about check engine lights and how they affect your ride. We have here a fairly new vehicle that has a major, major misfire and also a big lack of power. The customer really wants to know what it is because the check engine light's flashing. So I'm going to scan the computer memory banks here and read some codes. And we have multiple codes here. The first code I have, Vic, is a P0113. It's an air temperature sensor circuit too high. Uh, we also have a P0353, which is a misfire in cylinder number three, ignition coil. And we also have P0102, a mass airflow sensor voltage too low. Um, it looks like two of these codes may be related. Uh, so we're going to have Mike take a look under the hood and see what we find. Okay, Mike's going to open up the hood and he's going to check under there. What he'll look for mainly, first thing, are loose connections. If there's a loose connection somewhere, he's going to refit it and make sure that it's okay and recheck the circuit. If there's not a loose connection, he's going to start checking the circuit, the circuit and the wiring if we have to. When we have a misfire code, we check the ignition coil, we'll check the spark plug, we'll even have to check the injector to make sure it's working right. So if Mike gets ready to go, We'll let you know what's going on. Here you can see our ignition coils. So we had an issue in cylinder number three. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this connector out here, hit the coil out, check the plug. You can see that this is very, very new, this vehicle. So it has what we call direct ignition, one coil per spark plug, which makes it a lot easier to diagnose. Years ago, you used to have a distributor cap, a distributor rotor, and wires and a separate coil. Now they've designed it so you have one coil per cylinder. So you can see what's going on here. Michael's taking out that one spark plug. Yeah. Look at this plug here. You can actually see that there's a hairline crack in the porcelain, which is likely causing our misfire issue. So I'm going to go ahead, install a new one here. They come pre-gapped already. Thread it back in. I'm going to make sure you don't tighten it too tight or else you can actually destroy those threads. So tighten it on, back it off just a hair, just snug it back up. At this point, we've probably eliminated the one problem, which is a misfire. The second problem, he's got an intake air temperature sensor circuit and mass airflow sensor circuit. So now we're going to find out what's happening on that section. We're going to check the mass airflow circuit here, um, likely a loose wire or something. So if you actually look inside here, the connectors have to come loose. So someone's probably in here messing around with the air filter and simply forgot to put the connection back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap it back in. Make yourself our issue. Make sure everything's tight in here, and it is. So Raz's gonna go ahead and clear the codes, start the engine back up, and hopefully that code has disappeared. So we'll go back in here and we'll erase the codes. Now I'm just gonna start it up again. Go back into our codes to see if any more codes are present. System passes and no fault detected. We can also double check our live data to make sure there's no more misfires. Here's our cylinders. I'm gonna graph them. And everything looks okay, Vic. Thanks, Rad. Okay, that's only a couple of things that you can see go wrong with a fairly new car. Now, cracked porcelain on a spark plug is not uncommon to see, but it's normally from somebody dropping a spark plug. Nine times out of ten, that's what happens. They crack very easily. What you saw on the screen there was just a little bit. What happens to a regular day-to-day -day car? A check engine light will come on, and nine times out of ten, it will be a loose gas cap. So don't, don't, don't jump the gun when that check engine light comes on. If it just comes on, it's telling you something's out of, out of its range. First thing to do is when you get home or where you can pull over safely, go out and check the gas cap. If it's loose, tighten it back up, make sure it's tight. It'll probably take a couple of days for the light to go back out and everybody's happy. Now, check engine lights will come on for probably about 600 different reasons, okay? The gas cap is the most common. The other ones that you've seen on this vehicle do happen, not very often, but they're very rare, and that's all because we probably cause it ourselves by checking things. So. I hope you saw a little bit about what a check engine light is. Don't be nervous when a check engine light comes on. That's the main thing. When the light is flashing, that's when we have to worry a little bit. But besides that, enjoy the ride and don't worry about the check engine light.